Today's devotion comes from the Large Catechism's treatment of the Eighth Commandment. And the Eighth Commandment is, of course, you are not to bear false witness against your neighbor. Um, and I think the, inter the, the opening line of this is, is helpful for us to then think about what this commandment means. It says, besides our own body, our spouse, our temporal property, we have one more treasure that is indispensable to us, namely our honor and good reputation. For it is important that we don't live among people in public disgrace and dishonor. Um, and I, this is important because I have heard and I have seen this commandment get translated roughly as, you shall not lie. That's not what this commandment is first and foremost getting at. It is, um, you shouldn't bear false witness against your neighbor. You know, you shouldn't slander your neighbor. You shouldn't bring your neighbor down in, uh, in how you speak. It says the first application of this commandment is that people should help their neighbors maintain their legal rights. So part of this is that you're not bearing false witness against your neighbor in the, in the, the pretty literal legal sense. You're not testifying against your neighbor falsely. You're not speaking against your neighbor falsely in, in a legal sense. Um, but it extends much further when it's applied to spiritual or administrate, uh, spiritual juris, the spiritual jurisdiction. Um, so we are called to speak positively um, and honestly about leaders in the church, etc. And that's a point he's making, especially given some of the cultural things he's dealing with the, the, that, is, that are going on at the time that this is written. And then the third aspect of this commandment forbids all sins of the tongue by which we may injure or offend our neighbor. So something when we're talking about false, we're, when we're bearing false witness, kind of how do we take this positively is how do we build up our neighbor? And where there's a little bit of overlap here is with this idea of political correctness. Now, I understand political correctness can be taken too far. And in some places it is, and that's a whole separate discussion. But there is an element to, we should be very careful with how we use our words and how they impact our neighbor. And if we're, we're going to injure or offend our neighbor by something we say, then we should do our best to not speak that way because we're called to use our language to build up and support our neighbor instead. So we're not, we're not supposed to speak evil about our neighbor. We're not supposed to say uh, negative things about our neighbor. Um, and, and it says to avoid this vice, therefore we should note that none has the right to judge and reprove a neighbor publicly unless they are authorized to judge and reprove, which is a whole separate conversation. But honestly, that authority is given um, to the, to the government, to the, that kind of kingdom, um, and to the church. So going on rants about people on Facebook, not appropriate. Um, the, the church at some points can step in and publicly reprove sin, but there's a whole process. And I believe we talked about that in a previous devotion where we talked about excommunication. Um, if you faithfully watch these devotions maybe you can put in the comments below where that video might be found but so um gossip is part of this commandment we shouldn't be gossiping slander is part of this commandment but um this this commandment can cover a lot of stuff but the core of it is this we should be using our words to build up and support our neighbor not to tear them down and reduce them so it's as simple as that uh if you have comments, questions, concerns, as always, drop them below. And regardless, go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.